Keeping tabs on nuclear materials worldwide requires hundreds of trained expert inspectors. Teaching those inspectors is a long-standing capability at Los Alamos National Laboratory. A key tool used to train them is 3D interactive virtual reality developed at Los Alamos, letting inspectors go there before they go there. So we thought, hmm, how do we put them there without putting them there? So virtual reality 3D modeling was, to me, the obvious answer. To succeed, the models are made as realistic as possible and rely on innovations from the video game industry. Then it becomes a, an interactive simulation, a video game if you will, that I'm able to start to control this. So in this case, as we come across the cylinder, it shows us the serial number. It shows us the particular cylinders that we're supposed to be inspecting. Then as we walk up and we choose to inspect one, we can click on it. Then we can choose what kinds of things we're supposed to do to this uh, to, to the cylinder. In virtual space, inspectors can get a better handle on what to expect during a complex and sometimes contentious inspection. You want them to be as mentally prepared for that environment as possible. And virtual reality helps them cognitively prepare for those experiences. The video gaming interface and the virtual reality models that we've developed actually leverage from visual, audible, and um, kinetic interaction with the models. And so it engages the human body in many senses and many vectors in that space. So it's very natural. And this idea can be used for much more than nuclear inspections. It's an approach that can be applied as a training tool for just about anything imaginable. I'm Nancy Ambrosiano for LANL TV.